guys, what's going on? Lyrical Persuasion here, and today I'm bringing you guys an opinion-filled video. Um, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be about Fast and the Furious 6 versus The Hangover Part 3. So if you guys are wanting to what, listen to an opinion video, go ahead and click on this video right now. I don't got time for people just like getting in the comment section and be like, you're trash, your, your opinions don't matter, fuck you, okay? Whatever. So like, if you want to watch this video, go ahead and do so. Um, let's go ahead and get started into this video. Now... I don't know who thought about this and whose idea this was to go ahead and put such a big franchise up against a somewhat big franchise in the same weekend. Like, I didn't realize that The Hangover Part 3 was coming out the same weekend as Fast and Furious 6. All I thought about was, oh shit, Fast and the Furious 6 coming out May 24th, let's go, that's what I'm gonna watch, and then I find out that Hangover Part 3 is coming out the same time as Fast and the Furious 6, and you're like... What the hell? That's kind of like putting Kanye and Lil Wayne CDs out on the same day. Who do you think is going to go with who? That's like stupid. You put somebody who's like going to be the smallest uh, film or smallest, you know, outcome in the weekend. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I, who, who thought about this idea? Who thought of putting these two movies together? Like the Fast and the Furious has this big franchise, dude. Like it, it came out in 2001. And here we are back in 2013 where we've already got up to six movies already six movies and they're very popular and they're very big in the box office so how are you gonna put something that's like has is a veteran against like a rookie or a novice type movie series now don't get me wrong the hangover is a pretty good series it's got some it's funny moments um in here but i'm like putting it up against something that's been out for like a long time and has this bar set up to like that with all this action fast cars girls sex whatever weapons actions let's go and i'm like how are you gonna sit there and put that against something that's like talking about oh my gosh dude let's go to vegas man let's go get some lions and giraffes oh let's go around chasing monkeys you know what I mean? So I'm like, <laughs> I don't understand. But like I said, I, I enjoy both series. Now, I've watched all the Fast and the Furious since movies. Even though, even Tokyo Drift. And that's my least favorite movie out of the whole entire franchise. Um, I can't tell you what's my favorite one because I enjoy them all equally, I guess. Um, but Fast Five was a good one. I love that one. That was, that was a really good one. And the way that they handled the, uh, still in the, <laughs> shit, I can't even think. The way they stole the safe was genius like if you didn't know that they did that exchange then you would have never known but like i said that that movie was awesome that's probably one of my favorite movies i guess besides fast and the furious the one that got me started on watching fast and the furious and get me into it because it had cops in it, and it had action in it had girls and it had cars so it was it was awesome it was awesome it was awesome now let's get into the hangover part three or the hangover series now this is going to be the last final hangover movie that's what they said i didn't say this that's what they said but if it turns out great, they might do a fourth one. Who knows? But how many how many weekends are you going to wake up doing all this wild and crazy things? Like, seriously. I mean, there could be a lot of times where you can do this, but really? But anyways, I know I say but a lot, but... <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get a hangover. Now, hangover, the first one I wa first went to go watch the first one. It came out in 2009. It was okay. It had people in it to like, they wanted to make it funny, like super funny. I can understand that. Like you're waking up and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to find my best friend. Like what happened to him? Is that a bachelor part? I think this is, I'm thinking about, am I thinking about the same movie? Maybe I'm thinking about Hangover Part 2. No, Hangover the first one, it was like a bachelor party and they lost him and they had to go find him and then that dude lost his tooth and he ends up hooking up with his lady, getting married. All this wild and crazy things that happens when you get drunk, you're in Vegas, whatever. So now they're going back, uh, I think it's going to take place in Vegas again or something like that. Um, and he ends up getting a giraffe. Now let me go ahead and talk about the giraffe part real quick before this video ends. Now the giraffe part was kind of funny and stupid at the same time. Because I'm like, D dude, like in The Lion King, when they bow down to Mufasa and they bow down to Simba, like didn't they put their whole neck down, their whole body down to bow down to the king? Why couldn't this damn giraffe do that? Like I know his neck can bend just like a human neck can bend or duck its shoulders or something like that. Do the turtle, turtle, do something. I mean, come on, dude. So I thought that was kind of stupid. But overall, hopefully... Um, in my opinion, I think Fast and Furious 6 is going to take it this weekend. I may be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would choose and who do you think is going to win the box office and which movie you're going to go see this weekend. I'm going to see Fast and Furious So like I said, I'm going to go see the Fast and the Furious 6. So let me know in the comment section below which movie are you going to go see and why. Is it because you're a big fan of Fast and Furious 6 or you're a big fan of the Hangover series or you like them both? Now, you only have to pick one. Tell me in the comment section. 